How to record 4K videos in VR is vital for any VR developer. Whether you're trying to record gameplay for your trailer or just showing off things for your latest devlog, you're gonna wanna produce the highest quality video that you can. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to record whatever resolution you want at whatever bit rate using the MetaQuest Developer Hub. I'll also be teaching how you can just use the settings found on your Quest device to record too. The first way we can record is through the MetaQuest device itself. Whether it's a Quest 2 or Quest 3, it is super simple and pretty straightforward. All you have to do is, if you're in a game, you just hit the menu button on the right controller and select the record option. We can also select the camera and hit record from there, but the only problem there is the recordings out the box are in a square format for whatever reason. We can actually change this by navigating to the camera settings, and then from there we can choose all the custom settings we want. If we want the best recording on a native Quest, choose 1920 by 10 1080, 60 frames per second, and let's choose a bitrate of 20 megabytes per second. Just keep in mind, this is going to greatly increase your file size for your recording, but it will give you the best image quality using the MetaQuest native recording. If you ever want to get the videos from this recording off your headset and onto your computer, you just connect up the USB, accept the connection prompt, and then on your PC, just open up the Oculus Quest folder and then look for the videos folder and you should find your videos there. Now this is all well and good, but we came here for the best quality videos. So to do that, we need to use the MetaQuest Developer Hub. In order to use the MetaQuest Developer Hub, we are going to have to put our Quest device in developer mode and also make a developer account. If you've already done this, feel free to skip ahead to the section on recording with the MetaQuest Developer Hub. I'll mark it. But yeah, let's hop in and get this all set up. To get your Quest into developer mode, first we need to turn on the Quest and also open up the MetaQuest app on our phones. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have Bluetooth on your device set, and then also make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi with both devices. In the app, we also want to make sure we choose menu and then go to devices, select your headset, go to headset settings, and then you select developer mode and enable it. Pretty simple. If you are on Windows, you'll also want to download and install the Android Debug Bridge Drivers. This is going to allow us to connect our headset and pass things along using these drivers. I'll make sure to post these drivers in a link down below. Go to the website, just download it, unzip it, and then right click and install the .inf file that is inside. Next, you'll also need to create a developer account over at dashboard.oculus.com. Once you log in with whatever meta account you want associated with your development account, you'll need to create an organization. Just fill in whatever name you'd like for your organization, check the box and hit submit. You should be good. Don't freak out. You don't need an LLC or anything, just whatever you want your organization to be called. Now we need to download and install the MetaQuest Developer Hub. You'll find the link down in the description. Just download, install, and log in using your developer account. You'll also want to make sure that your headset is connected using a USB, and now that you've put your headset into developer mode, it'll probably ask you to accept USB debugging, just agree to it. Once you've done all that, you should be able to go to the device manager and see where your headset is. You can see my Quest 3 is connected right here, and we should be able to start customizing our recordings. So you can see the record button right here, and right here is where we can customize single eye, both eyes, what resolution we'd like, and the bit rate. I'm gonna go ahead and max all these out, highest bit rate, and hit save. Now if I want, all I have to do is hit the record button, and then I would put on my headset, and it will record everything going on in my headset with those settings that I saved. But, you know what, there is another option, and since I like to use OBS to record things here, let me drag it on screen. And so if I want to use OBS, I can actually use something called Betacast 2.0. So, and now I can hit Betacast and you can see it'll span this out and it will show you what my headset is seeing. And then we can capture the screen using OBS. So here I can change it to cinematic mode 16 by 9. So it expands out there. You, you can see what my headset is seeing right now with pass through, which is pretty cool. There's my little Kingston. That's who I talk to when I'm losing my mind and things aren't working correctly when I'm programming. We can also go into the settings here and just make sure we have exactly what we want. So we can even boost up the resolution there, change the FPS to 120. We can target a bit rate. So 
this is it. This is how you can get better recordings. And if I were to put on my headset, I could also just record things in the game. That is how you get higher resolution recording and also how you can use OBS to record your videos using your quest. So I hope it helped. If you found it useful, give me a like and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.